Today we play through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond without any Pokemon. We walk through walls, we test what happens if your only Pokemon is an egg, and you might be surprised at how many things make the game crash when you use these cheats. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so you are reminded by your mother, do not go into tall grass, because if you go into tall grass, wild Pokemon might attack you. And even over here, if we try to walk up here, this guy stops us. In Pokemon games, there's someone that stops you from walking into tall grass if you don't have a Pokemon yet, because you're not supposed to be able to have a Pokemon battle without any Pokemon. But, with walk through walls, oh, our friend is over here, but wait a minute, but this guy was just saying, hey, I think ZX View is at home, but look, what does he say? Pushes you back, ZX View is looking for you. I think he's home now, why don't you go check it out? I know that he's not home. I saw him right there, he's right there, he's not home. All right, let's see what happens if we have a wild Pokemon battle without any Pokemon with us. Let's see what'll happen. What if just no wild Pokemon will appear? Yeah, I'm not seeing any battle. I wonder if they made it so that you can't have any battles while you don't have a Pokemon with you. I guess maybe you can't have a wild Pokemon encounter when you don't have any Pokemon with you. That's very surprising because different games treat this in very different ways. Let's see, what happens if we run into a trainer? Is this a trainer? That's not a trainer. This is probably a trainer. All right, let's see what happens if we have a trainer battle while we don't have any Pokemon with us. You're a Pokemon trainer. No, I'm not. I don't have any Pokemon. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. Why are we going to battle? I don't have any Pokemon. What are you going to do? Oh! <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. And I just realized your mom says don't go into tall grass because wild Pokemon might attack you. But in this game, it looks like if you don't have a Pokemon with you, then no wild Pokemon appear. Let's try going to a different- okay, Dawn's up there. Wait, how is Dawn both there and here? There are Dawn clones, there's one waiting up there to tell you to not go into the grass, and there's one here that's supposed to meet you to take you to the professor. And I bet if we go up there, there's going to be a third Dawn. So let's see what happens if we just start the game over here and we walk over to Dawn, because we haven't met Dawn yet, we don't know who she is, what's she going to say? Let's see. She comes over. ZX Many! How do you know my name? We haven't met yet. Did you tell your family you're helping the professor? You didn't, did you? I didn't even meet the professor yet. I know that you're really eager to see all kinds of Pokemon, but you shouldn't make your mom worry that you've disappeared. Okay, fine. I'll go tell my mom. Let's see if I can actually go tell my mom. Wait, is Dawn still over here? Dawn's still over there waiting for us to meet the professor. So let's head back home. We're going to head back home over here, just walking through some walls. Oh, look, it's the edge of the world over here. All right, now here we go, Twin Leaf Town. Let's go tell our mother what happened. I wonder if we'll be able to tell her. Let's see. Can we speak to her? Bye-bye! Take care for now. <laughs> okay, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. Okay, so let's go back to Dawn. Oh, now there's water over here all of a sudden. Wow, this is some nice water over- Oh! And now there's a different kind of water- Oh, Route 219! Here we are. Let's get this item right here. Oh, and I wanted to test this. If you're standing on top of an item, can you pick it up? You can't pick it up while you're standing on top of it. Okay, we got an antidote. That's very good. I'm very curious about this. Okay, let's go to bag. Let's go to our items. What if we try to give it to a Pokemon or use it on a Pokemon? What if we do use this item? Which Pokemon will you use it on? Okay, okay, at least the game doesn't crash or get stuck. You just have no options. Okay, you just can't do anything. That's nice that the game accounts for that. Oh, this is Sand Gem Town right here. Okay. And there's some deep water over here. Oh! I didn't expect that the water would change this suddenly. It's like a Minecraft biome. It just suddenly changes. We're playing Minecraft right now. Let's just walk through these Minecraft biomes over here, heading over to this cabin in the woods here. There's a man here. What? What? I just pressed A on him and now my person's just walking in place! This person isn't saying anything! This crashed my game! Who is this man supposed to be? Why does he have cookies on the table? Why am I just walking like this in place? Win items from me! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. We win items from- Oh! It's probably based on the Pokemon you have. Let's see, yeah, like if I press A on him, nothing happens. Because the game probably tries to read what type of Pokemon you have, 
but we don't have any Pokemon with us, so the game just freezes like this. And I can't move right now, I'm pressing buttons, nothing happens. We are just walking on water here. I think it's about time we meet our friend, because our friend's been waiting here for us a little bit, so let's stop by him. Hello, ZXView. Hey, if we run into a Pokemon, I'm gonna catch it somehow, because I'm gonna be a Pokemon trainer. You know what a trainer does, right? How they have battles and all that- Wait, why are you not following me? Oh! Okay, I tried to leave, and now he- Hey! You just saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the red Gyarados? That show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has Pokemon like that too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a Pokemon like that. All right, let's go. Will you follow me through here? He, oh, wait, he doesn't. Can he follow me now? Wait, what are you gonna say now? Pushes me back. ZXV was looking for you. I was just with, no, he's not home. I was just with him a moment ago. I know that he's not home. I am sure that he is not home. Okay, let's see. Can we bring him like this? Where is he? Wait, where are you? Where did he go? Oh, I thought we lost him. Okay. Where are you wandering off to? No, he doesn't want us to go back there. Wait, can he go like this? Yes! There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I managed to bring him through with me. Okay. And now then, now we can bring this guy with us. Okay, let's go. Now what's gonna happen? If we try to go here, this guy stops us. Pushes us back. ZXV is looking for you. He's right behind you. He's right. No, he is not home. All right, but maybe we should go check it out. Maybe he actually is home. Let's save. Let's see. Apparently, you're supposed to be home, right? Pokemon have all different moves, huh? Okay, apparently, you are home. So let's check your house. Let's see what happens. Ah! We've got double! We've got double rival, double rivals! We have double rivals, he's so surprised! What was that about? Yeah, you have a clone. Oh, hey, zx Benny. I'm going to the lake. You should come too, and be quick about it. I'm finding you a million dollars if you're late. Goes to step away. Wait a minute. You've got a clone of me with you! Don't you? Ah, I forgot something. Gotta eliminate my clones. And he goes in there. All right, now what happens? Can we leave now, please? Will you please let us leave, or no? Or are you going to say that ZXQ is still home? Pushes me back. ZXQ is looking for you. I think he's home now. He's actually with me. He's with me right here. Okay, where's our friend? Our friend's over here. What if we bring him into a random house? Let's see what happens. Will he follow us here? Okay! Your friend doesn't want to follow you into a house. So what we're supposed to do right now is enter this house and see our rival who just went into this house. But we can't even enter this house now! All right, what if we leave our rival behind and we head over to Dawn over here? Will Dawn trigger a new cutscene or will this crash the game? Let's see what this Dawn does. Maybe this will repair our game, let's see. Oh, there you are, please come with me. The professor is waiting. All right, will the game crash when we head in here? Let's see, let's see. Oh, all of a sudden our rival's here, but our rival was back in Twin Leaf Town, thud. What the? Oh, it's you, ZX Benny, that old guy. He's not scary as much as he's totally out there. Anyway, I'm out of here. See you later. Okay, please tell me the game doesn't crash. Wow, what was that? Your friend seems to be really impatient. Anyway, let's go inside. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. <laughs> yes, the game doesn't crash. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, so we don't have a Pokemon yet. We've never met the professor before. We've never met Don before. Finally, you've come. ZX Manny, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. I don't have a Pokemon yet. Well, you've made your Pokemon evolve already? <laughs> but okay. All right then, I'll give that egg to you as a gift. Wait, that egg? Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. Wait, he's giving us an egg? What is, uh, okay, we got a male egg apparently. Okay, let's name it Real Pokemon because this is a real Pokemon that we got. I see, and you're happy with that nickname? Yes. Your friend ZXFU told me what happened at the lake. Well, I was never at the lake, so I don't know what he's telling you. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. I, I haven't battled yet. I don't even have a Pokemon. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a silly line. That sounds so funny. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon right now. This is so weird. When I played the original Pokemon Diamond without any Pokemon, Dawn said that she chose Chimchar, actually. And it's not actually possible to have the same Pokemon as Dawn. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm Dawn. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Do we have actual Pokemon now? No, we still can't go to our Pokemon menu. Oh, one question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, I was worried that the game would crash there. Okay, let's see what happens if we try to heal our non-existent Pokemon. Apparently we were given an egg, but we can't check on our egg. So let's walk up here. Hello, Nurse Joy. Hello, Nurse Joy. I'm just going to sit right in here. Okay, but let's just heal our Pokemon normally. Let's see what happens. Good morning. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Let's see what happens if we hit yes. We apparently don't have any Pokemon. Let's see. Let's look at how many Pokeballs get put down and let's look at the screen. <laughs> okay, the Pokeballs are getting put down. But you can hear the sound of Pokeballs being put down. And I think the game, yeah, the game's definitely just going to softlock like this. Nurse Joy might be putting down our invisible Pokeballs forever. We're like, hey, Nurse Joy, can you heal my Pokemon? She's like, certainly. Can you give me your Pokemon? We go, I gave it to you already. And that just blew her mind. She's just putting down infinite Pokemon now. Yeah, I can't leave no matter what button I press, nothing happens. Okay, and I left the game running for a few minutes, and Nurse Joy is still putting down the Pokeballs of these non-existent Pokemon. So I think we might have broken Nurse Joy here. And let's see what happens if we head to Jubilife City. If we head up to Jubilife City here... Oh, look, it's Dawn all of a sudden! What's she doing up there? I thought she was just down there trying to stop us from getting into the grass. Hi, ZX Mini, are you catching Pokemon? Nope, because no wild Pokemon appear if you don't have any Pokemon with you in this game. Uh, I think it'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. You know, that's a good point. Maybe. In Jubilife City, there's the trainer school, which, well, you know, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon, like how to catch them. ZXView went there, too. Wait a minute, and if we go to ZXView there, normally you're supposed to give an item to him, but we don't have that item with us. So let's go to the trainer school, because normally we're supposed to give this guy an item. You're supposed to have an item, and you have to give the item to him, and that's what the dialogue says. But let's see what happens if we don't have the item with us. Hey, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So what brings you here? You've got something for me? You delivered the part? I never got the parcel! So what is this? Score, it's a town map! Wow! We never even collected the parcel though. That's very surprising that the game actually says you delivered the parcel even if you never got the parcel. Okay, so I guess we have the town map now. Let's see. Yeah, we've got the town map now even though we never got the parcel in the first place. That's so strange. There's a clown guarding the door here. And wait, what is this? Jubilife TV. I want to go in here. Can I go in here? Okay, I can, I can, I can. I can sneak by him. Okay, okay, okay. This is great. We snuck past the clown. We made it in here. All right. Hello. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. Oh, if your draw number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon starting with the far right digit, you'll receive a fabulous gift. I think the game's going to crash because we don't have any Pokemon and it's going to try to read that. Would you like to save and draw a lotto ticket? No. No, 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 because that's going to crash the game. Okay, you know what? I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll see how it goes. Let's just walk in here behind the counter. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. I know I work here too. That's why I'm behind the counter. All right, let's try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Let's see. I'm guessing that the game will crash. Please draw a lotto ticket. Lotto ticket number is 28978. Let's see. I'm guessing the game's just going to freeze. Now, let's see if it matches the idea of any of your... You didn't get... The game didn't crash? I'm so surprised that the game didn't crash. I'm very, very surprised that the game didn't crash. Oh, you know what? I want to see what's over here. I wonder if we could maybe get to this gym that's going to be over here early. Let's see what happens if we head on over this way. Let's see. Whoa! This whole part of the map- Oh! Oh! That part of the map isn't loaded yet, and if you try to walk there, the game crashes. I am a berry! I wonder if someone will pick me one day. Okay, so now, hopefully if we go through here- Wait a minute. We actually can't step there. Wait a minute, maybe it's because this whole area is actually unloaded. There are no berries, and there are no trainers or anything here. Maybe you actually have to step through here to load that area? Let's try that. What if we go through here? And what if we go through here? Now, will this area be different? Let's see. Okay, still nobody here. Now there are trainers and berries here! That's why, because when we walked by the first time, this whole area was actually not loaded. So if you step through one of these, 
if you step through one of these buildings, that's what actually loaded the area. Yeah, I was thinking, this route's looking a little empty right now. There were no people here. Okay, so here's Canalave City. So if we head across that bridge, our rival is going to want to battle us. Oh, I'm very curious to see what happens if we save the game just like right here and we reload the game. I wonder if we'd be able to walk. Oh wait, you probably, yeah, because right now I don't have walkthrough walls active. Okay, so you'd be able to walk like this, but you can't walk there. Wait, oh, you could actually walk inbounds onto this raft. That's crazy that you can't walk. Oh, and you can just walk through this ship. This ship has no collision. You can just walk through this ship. You can't walk onto the shore that way, but you could, can we walk onto the ground here? Oh, you could walk onto the ground here. Wait a minute. Why is there a path like this that you could walk here? This is so strange. Wait a minute, and how is there a, oh, oh, you could probably get here by using Surf. I was thinking, why would, why in the world would they have a hidden TM there? But it's probably you could use Surf from here and then you go down there and then you could reach that. Cause otherwise I'm like, why would they just have a TM out of bounds? But it makes sense, you could probably surf and reach here. Okay, so this guy over here in Iron Island is apparently named Riley. Let's see, you are, okay, you're ZX Many. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. If you'd like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. All right, you decided to go with Riley. Okay, now, oh, and if your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up, that's great. Okay, now if we have a battle with someone, it should be a double battle. So I'm very curious to see what that's going to be like. I wonder if the game still crashes if we go to have a double battle. Because this guy should have a Pokemon, but we don't have a Pokemon. So let's see, does the game still crash? Or do we send out a weird Pokemon? Let's see, let's see. I'll pound the fear of my fists into all you karate. Okay, let's see, does the game crash? Let's see. What do we send out? Ah, of course. So whether you try to do a double battle or a single battle, even though this person's following you and they have a Pokemon, the game still crashes if you try to send out a non-existent Pokemon. Okay, and I know if we try to head through that way, then our rival will jump out and try and challenge us. So I'm going to have to, yeah, our rival's right there. So I'm going to sneak by this way so that we don't have to battle our rival so the game doesn't crash. Okay, let's head up this way. Oh, almost got into a battle there. Okay, don't want any trainer battles. Because trainer battles make the game crash. Okay, you know what? We could probably head through here safely. Yeah, so you can see that this part of the world passed there. Oh, are we in Orberg City already? Wait a minute. I'm worried that the game will crash because I'm thinking that you probably have to go through this cave then go out the other end of the cave and then the next part of the world will load. But let's see, I guess. Okay, we're in Orberg City apparently. But everything's all dark. The music's playing. I'm expecting that this is going to work the same way as the original. This is funny. So your rival is standing in front of the gym doors here. And he's going, oh, you finally got here, you're slow. The gym leader's gone. So this is funny here. Your rival is standing in front of the door and he says, I told you, the gym leader isn't here. If you want to challenge this gym, you better go down to the mine and find the gym leader. But the funny thing is, they do this in a lot of games. This is something that they do. They put an NPC in front of a spot to block you, but if we walk through walls and we head into the gym anyway, then look who's going to be up there. The gym leader is there all along. It looks like our rival is lying to us because we can see that the gym leader's right here. So let's go confront our rival about this and let's see what he has to say about this. Let's see, what do you have to say about this, bro? I told you, the gym leader isn't here. I just saw the gym leader. I know the gym leader's in there. Don't lie to me. So here's the leader of Team Galactic. Normally, this guy comes up to you as you walk by. What if we walk up to him? Let's see, what if we speak to him? Oh, you actually can't press the A button on him. He doesn't care. He doesn't speak to you. He just stands here menacingly. Yeah, I'm pressing A on him from all different angles, but he just won't speak to me. He doesn't care. It's only when you walk by over there that he notices you. Kind of weird to just see him standing up there. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. The Pokemon you can go for a stroll with are Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, Torchic, Turtle. Okay, a bunch of bunch of Pokemon. Oh, that's Razor. Okay, that's a lot of Pokemon. Please do come back with one. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sneak by you. Oh, I don't have a Pokemon here. You should talk to your Pokemon. It can occasionally find things. Too bad I don't have any Pokemon. Can we speak to her from here? Ah, the game crashes! <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. From here, you could normally only go this high. 
But if you step up a bit more, then you can see that there are also some more that these decorations actually extend up a bit higher, even though you can't see those. Oh wait, actually, I guess you can see some of these over here. You can reach these. Oh, and there's an item inside it. An amulet coin. That's where amulet coin is. Amulet coin's a pretty useful item. What about this one? Spooky plate? Wait a minute, spooky plate. Aren't the plates used for Arceus? When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Okay, so these guys normally don't want you to pass by here. What if we just pass by anyway? Okay, I'm worried that the game is going to crash if we go too far because none of the characters are loaded on this route. Yeah, so these guys are actually blocking the path to not let us in there, so that means that this area isn't loading properly. So I'm actually worried that the game might crash if we go too far. Let's see. Let's see, what is this sign? Oh, you can't interact with the sign. Okay, let's head up here. It's so weird seeing none of the trainers being here. Yeah, and we can't go up there because that area isn't loaded yet. Can we head in here or no? We can't head into this tower because this tower also isn't loaded. Okay, I think what we have to do first before we could go by those folks is maybe head in here. Let's see if we can sneak past this gym leader into this door. Okay, good, good, good. We can sneak past her. Oh, and wait a minute. Oh, my hero! I've never met you before. This is a lady who her Baneeri runs away. But I've never met her yet. Oh, hi, ZX Betty. What? Yeah, so that this is my mom, and this is one person who were supposed to save their Baneeri, but I was using walkthrough walls, so we never ran into that lady before. Wait a minute, and we still don't have our hat. Would you like to join a practice session? I'd like to practice. Please choose a Pokemon to enter, as well as its contest move. Let's see if the game crashes. Oh boy, they're giving me another chance. Select or no thanks, let's do select. Select a Pokemon. Looks like I don't have any Pokemon. What if I pick confirm? Okay, I can't pick confirm. Oh, at least, oh, they actually let me cancel. I'm very surprised. No thanks. Would you like to cancel your entry? Yes. Wow, they actually prevent you from crashing the game here. Okay, but what if we use, oh, walk through walls and head in here, let's see. If you just walk through walls and you head through here, then you're just met with a black screen like this. Yes, these people are gone now. Okay, now we can- wait. Why can we not hit in here? Hi, right, do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the nursery. Want to take it? Yes! Okay, now we actually have an egg with us. The egg has been added to your party. This is what I heard about eggs. If you take that egg, it'll hatch. Let's see. But I can't check my Pokemon! Do I actually have the egg? Because I can't check my Pokemon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if we do save? Because when you do save... Yes, we've got an egg! Okay, now we can see that we actually have the egg in our party. I wonder if maybe now we could have wild Pokemon battles. Let's go see if maybe now we could have a wild Pokemon battle. Oh, wait, over here. Duh, when you walk over here, the Veneeri is supposed to run by. <laughs> We're facing the wrong way during this cutscene. We're trying to escape. Oh, thank goodness you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my Baneri would have run. Yeah, so that's the lady that a few moments ago, she said, my hero, thank you for saving me. But right now we finally saved her Baneri. Oh, oh, I almost ran into that trainer. Okay, will we finally have a wild Pokemon battle? Yes, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Are we going to send out our egg now or what's going to happen? Go egg, what? But my Pokemon's still supposed to be an egg. It hasn't hatched yet. And I'm already sending out the Pokemon? That is unbelievable. Yeah, we can see that it's an egg. It says egg can't battle. Let's check the summary. Oh my goodness, a mysterious, a mysterious egg that I was given by the traveling man on this date, the egg watch. What Pokemon will hatch from this egg? It doesn't seem close to hatching. And I can't go to the right. I can't check what moves it has. Okay, what happens if we try to fight? Let's use Pound. We're probably gonna die. Oh, it used Detect, yeah. You have a level one egg fighting you. Okay, yeah, so, oh! Oh, we lost the fight, apparently. You scurry back to the Pokemon Center protecting your Pokemon. Now what, does the game crash here? Do they actually heal my Pokemon? First, let's restore your Pokemon to full health. And then you're in this infinite loop of Nurse Joy putting down infinite numbers of invisible Pokemon again. There's no escaping from this. So that's what happens if you get into a battle while you have just an egg with you. 
let's go through Mount Coronet a bit. So normally you're not supposed to be able to make it up here until you get to Rock Climb, which is near the end of the game. So let's just head through here and let's see where we can get. Let's see if we can make it to Dialga. Oh! Team Galactic is starting to be here now. Okay, we've got to avoid Team Galactic. That's what we've got to do. Because if we get into a battle, then the game crashes. So we have to be careful. Okay, okay. We're at this snowy peak area now. Let's save. Oh, right. I remember this area. Okay, now where was it that you wanted to go? Did you want to go through that one? Or did you want to go up this way? I think where you wanted to go was through here. Oh, wait. I don't want to run through it. I want to just enter it. Wait. <gasps> There's actually no loading zone here. We can't enter it. Oh, wait, maybe that's because we, we went into the wrong place. We went into the wrong place. Okay, okay, let's try this. Let's try this. No need to panic, everybody. This one's also not working. Okay, okay, everybody. Still no need to panic. No need to panic. Let's just head through here. There we go. This is most likely where we have to go. And then we can continue to climb up. Then if we exit through here, now this area should be loaded. And now, okay, there we go. Now the loading zones are all working. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. Want to avoid the Team Galactic people? Now where do we- I love how it looks like we're just floating above- Oh, someone's guarding a spot back there! Okay, and something funny to note is when you're in an area like this, like if your head's peeking out of the wall over here, you actually can't pause and save the game here. It's only once you're here. Once you're like actually on ground over here that you could save. It's kind of interesting that they did that. They made it. It's like when you're over here, you can't pause the game. We should be reaching Dialga soon. Let's sneak around this person. Aha! You won't notice me if I go through the walls. And now where are we? There we go! There we go, okay, okay, we're going to make it to Dialga soon. Let's see, can we sneak by these guys? Oh, you know what, I really want to explore out of bounds over here. Okay, so this doesn't extend out very far. I love how it looks like we're floating because we are walking on the same ground level as over here. Okay, so let's see, what's around here? Alright, so this is normally where Dialga is summoned. It's funny that we've never even talked to anyone in Team Galactic before. And they're all going to act like, Hey, do you know how many times you've defeated us? Oh, and we could take this item over here. The Adamant Orb. Wait, does it disappear? Oh, I never realized that there were two. Wait a minute. Both the Adamant Orb and the Lustrous Orb are both here? Hold on a second. So Adamant Orb is supposed to be an item that's held by Dialga. And you can only catch Dialga in Pokemon Diamond. And Lustrous Orb is supposed to be an item that's held by Palkia. And you can only get that in Pokemon Pearl. So it's kind of weird that if you manage to sneak by here before battling either of the Pokemon, then both items are actually on this spot. That's very surprising. All right, let's see. What if we head back here? So this is where Dialga is supposed to be. Dialga spawns around here. But it is this hatless trainer that is spawning instead. Does this guy want to speak? Nope, this guy still doesn't want to speak. What about this? Anything on these rocks? Okay, and if we go over here, I think there's going to be a double battle and I think the game will crash. Let's see, what if we try speaking to them? What's the matter? Don't tell me you're shaking. <laughs> well, Hotshot, now what? What do you mean? I've never seen you people before. What if we try to leave? If we try to leave, they don't care. And if we walk up here, nobody cares. This is so weird. I guess maybe it's because we have to face these guys first. Like, look, if we head up here, just this guy won't even talk to us. These people are like, what's the matter? Getting tired? Well, Hotshot, now what? Well, what do you mean, now what? I, I've never even met you people before. If we head down here, what if we talk to these people? Something huge is going to happen, I think. Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, right? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. Oh, but you only have one Pokemon? Scram, then! I don't have any Pokemon! I don't have any Pokemon with me! And you know what's hilarious? The reason that they're saying that is because if you try to have a double battle with only one Pokemon, then they prevent you from doing that. What about this person? Something huge is going to happen, I think, maybe, right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, right? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. Oh, but you only have one Pokemon? Scram, then! And does the same thing happen if- Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to go down here. Let's go back up. Does the same thing happen if we try to walk by them? Let's see. Something huge is going to happen. Don't meddle around. That's why the two- Oh, but you only have one Pokemon? Scram then. Oh, and they send you back. Okay. Wow, so we can't even spawn Dialga. Because we apparently only have one Pokemon, but our Pokedex is zero. And we have literally nobody on our team. You only have one Pokemon. How did they know? Oh, here's Celestic Town. Hold on, here's the old grandma. 
She notices me. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him angry. And yeah, he uh... So this is Cynthia's grandma over here. We're normally supposed to deliver an old charm to her. Let's see what happens. Can we sneak into the ruins without battling this guy? I'd love to be able to sneak into the ruins. Oh, I don't know if we can. Yes! We can sneak into the ruins. Okay, that's a little tough, but we snuck into the ruins without him. And now, if we examine this painting, you examine the ancient cave paintings. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are strange things forming a triangle. It's like the Triforce. And now this lady snuck in too. The cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful that it was considered a deity at the time. Posing this being with three Pokemon, they kept the balance just they kept the balance just like the Triforce. It's an ancient legend of Zelda. Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. Okay, we got TM95. Wait. Don't we normally have to uh give that grandma something? I thought that we have to give that grandma Oh, and look at how we're picking out. Yes? We are a stone, just like the other stones. We are a stone. We are not a Pokemon trainer down here. We are just a stone. Oh, well, and I thought that normally you give the grandma something, because I'm really curious, because we were able to give our rival in a parcel that we didn't have. Oh! <laughs> I'm surprised to find this guy here, because the grunt is still here. I'm very surprised. Uh, and this guy's still called question mark, question mark, question mark, because we've never met this guy before. There appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek that power to create a new world. A world without strife. I love how the grunt is just there, and I haven't battled him yet. However, that power seems to be unavailable, yes? We've met before, yes? It was at Mount Coronet. Well, I tried to speak to you at Mount Coronet, but you were just standing there. Do you discover any power derived from the legend of Sinnoh? Inform me. Okay, I'll be sure to let you know. That power is what I need to create my new world. Please don't battle me now. Please don't battle me now. Please don't. Okay, good, good, good. We are able to run away from that person. Thank goodness. Salation Town. Cool. Oh, oh, we are in the daycare center. Can you speak to these Pokemon? Hold on. If you stand in front of them, they stop moving. That's very surprising. That's actually a very funny game mechanic. Look, they're just running, but if you block their path, then they stop moving. That's very surprising. Oh, and this is a puddle, I guess. I'm like, why can we see a reflection in the ground here? That's very surprising, but it looks like it's some kind of water. Help me! I am not a Pokemon! Please help me, please! Please, ma'am! I swear I'm not one of them! I am not a Baneri! You can see that I'm different! Please help me! Please, you have to get me out of here. When I grow up, I want to work for the Pokemon Nursery. Wait, why does it say that our current mission is defeat Fantina at the Hearthome Gym? I don't even have the first gym badge. I think what we should do next is sneak through here. Since we don't have the key, we could just sneak through. Let's have a look around where we might want to go. Let's see, let's go up these stairs. Oh, oh, there's a bed around here that heals your Pokemon. But we don't have any Pokemon, so I'm curious what might happen if we go onto the bed. We've still got zero Pokemon with us. Let's see what happens if we try to sleep on the bed. Will it work? It's a bed. Would you like to take a rest? Yes. You quickly fell asleep in the bed. And it's kind of weird to be sleeping in a bed in some random corporation. You and your Pokemon became fully healed. Hooray! The game didn't crash, but... We still have no Pokemon. And you know what? You know what? Let's go over here. This is where you go to free the Pokemon normally because he captured the Pokemon. We haven't gotten to the point of the game where all these Pokemon are captured yet. So let's see. We can go over here and we can release the Pokemon that apparently weren't even captured yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But that person's going to want to battle, I think. Let's see. Can we hit this button without this person noticing? Let's see if we can. Ah, oh, you can only hit the button from the front, I think. Wait, unless we go like this. No, we can't hit the button until we defeat this person, I think. Oh, no, that's so sad. We can't free these Pokemon. Look, I'm trapped in here with the Pokemon. Oh, no. Help me. All right, let's see what happens if we talk to this guy now. Will he want to fight? Hey. <laughs> Why are we facing to the left? The way that we moved before this cutscene was weird. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galaxy. Although I'd hardly expect it to see that the trainer is a mere child. I'm just facing to the left. I'm not even looking at him. I heard our commanders had a tough time. I didn't fight the commanders yet. 
I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. And we're just staring ahead to the left over here. We're not looking at him. It's about those three. You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It'll save me the trouble of disposing them. He wants to battle, right? And what, does the game crash once the battle starts because we have no Pokemon? Yes. Up here, it looks like there should be trees, but there just aren't. Wow, this is so weird. It's like, oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 I just got teleported here. Oh, man, I'm like, that's a weird mix of just, like, rocks and water and everything. Okay, but I guess as soon as you step there, it automatically teleports you here. Wait, who's talking right now? Wait, where's, why is Flint speaking? I don't see Flint. Flint is speaking to us, but, uh, I can't see him. What's going on? Hold on. Where, where did Flint go? Hold on, we were just up here, right? We were up here somewhere? Hold on, yeah, we were right up here. But I guess once we stepped here, it's like that's officially Sunny Shore City. And as soon as you get into the city for the first time, it looks like Flint wants to talk to you. Okay, so let's see. So normally the gym leader's not supposed to be here yet. But wait a minute, yeah, Flint isn't even blocking the door. Flint's supposed to be blocking the door so that we can't enter here. Why isn't Flint here? What's, oh, now Flint is there. If we speak to him, we can see our face popping out through his. Yo, hiya! He hasn't come back yet. When he does, you know what you've got to do. Give him a battle that's so hot, it'll reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you. But the funny thing is, if we do go in there, just like the earlier gym leader, he is there all along. Great music playing here as we just run through the water like this. It's like Luigi in Super Mario 64 DS. If you go very fast, you could run on the water for a moment like this. And we've just got a crazy speed boost here. All right, where are we? Are we at the lead four yet? 223. Oh, and here we go. We are at the Pokemon League. Let's just walk up the waterfall. Here we are at the Pokemon League. The music here is so nice and relaxing. I can't believe we made it all the way to the Pokemon League, all the way to Victory Road without any Pokemon at all. Our Pokedex is still zero. And let's see, instead of going through the long path of Victory Road, Let's just go through like this. And there we go. Isn't that so much faster? Yes, this is a pretty nice place to explore. We can see what's back here, which is basically, uh, water. You see some sand kind of stuff like this, but eventually, it's just all dark here. All right, so we are at the Elite Four. This person up here wants to check that we have all the gym badges. But before we do that, if we step up here, our rival is going to want to battle. As we can see, our rival runs up here. And he's going to want to battle, but since we don't have any Pokemon with us, the game should crash, right? Yes. Hello, yes? I am also working here. Welcome, may I help you? I would like a job. That's why I'm standing behind the counter here with you. Yes, yes, if any trainer comes here, I will offer to sell them stuff. Okay, but what we might be able to do is if we sneak back here from this side, then we should be able to speak to this person, hopefully, without our rival catching us. <gasps> but wait a minute, in this game it's different! This person doesn't want to speak to you yet! Wow! Oh, and it's funny that we can see our person walking here in the background. But yeah, this person actually won't speak to you. It looks like this person won't speak to you until you beat your rival. But, we can sneak by him into the door here. And, we are on our way to the Elite Four now. And let's see, there's something that I'm very, very curious about. Because in the original Pokemon Diamond, you're able to walk through, well, with walk through walls active, you can walk through these doors. Let's see if we can do it here. Oh, yes, I was about to say no, but yes. Yes, you can. We can walk through like this. Okay, okay, okay. So then, first member of the Elite Four, we pass by them. Okay, Elite Four Bertha. Well, we don't have any Pokemon, so this might be a tough fight, so don't mind if I just sneak by here. And then... Next member of the Elite Four. Oh, here's Flint over here. We still never beat the 8th Gym Leader, and he wanted us to beat the 8th Gym Leader. So let's just sneak by over here, because we don't want to battle him. And... Here is... The leader of the Elite Four, the Psychic-type user. And we don't want to battle the Elite Four, we're just gonna sneak by here. But, there is a problem when we get to Cynthia over here. And some of you might know what it is, so let's step in here and let's see what happens when we face Cynthia. The problem is, you can't sneak by Cynthia because this cutscene plays and you immediately battle her. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Wait, have we even met Cynthia on this file yet? I don't think we've even met Cynthia. 
Together, you and your Pokemon, which we don't have any Pokemon, overcame all the challenges you faced. However difficult, it means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learn, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. I actually don't want to battle. I don't have any Pokemon. I was just looking for the restroom. I'm in the wrong room. Good thing the game crashed, because Cynthia would have really defeated us there. Look, everybody, I'm a Pokeball. If you do this in the original Pokemon Diamond, you can walk up and find the Hall of Fame without defeating Cynthia, but I'm not sure if that room is loaded in this version of the game, because I couldn't find it this time. In the original, if you make it to the Hall of Fame with no Pokemon, the game keeps trying to load your infinite non-existing Pokemon, just like what happens in this game if we try to heal our non-existent Pokemon at Nurse Joy in a Pokemon Center. I really appreciate you watching this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed these experiments, and you might enjoy some of my other videos if you like this one. Have an amazing day, and take care, everybody.